Today we are playing some mono red aggro, unlike its sibling mono red burn, instead of going for amplified incremental chip damage into one big burst, we are looking for continued board pressure through non-stop hasty creatures. One of my favourite things about this deck is its curve. We start off early with Kamano faces Kakazan, Monastery's Whisper and Phoenix Chick, before hopefully chaining into Bloodthirsty Adversary and Felden Ronom Excavator, and then curving out we've got Squee and Thundering Raiju. Supporting our hasty ensemble we've got Play With Fire, Lightning Strike and Strangle to give us a bit of removal to lead the way for our creatures or to just finish off our opponent. And that's the deck. Will we conquer our enemies through Red Dead Redemption or will we just be Red Dead? It works somehow. Let's get into the games. All right, we start today's adventures in Gold 1. Um, looking at our hand, it's quite strong, so we're going to keep it. We have a very nice curve. Phoenix Chick into Lightning Strike, into Squee, into Thundering Raiju. We just need to draw a couple of land. If we don't draw a mountain by turn 3, we can just Lightning Strike, which is good. We're going to attack here, put our opponent down to 19. Opponent is tapped. Looks like we might be up against Orzov if Shattered Sanctum is how they're starting. Alright. Yeah, let's play out the Squee. We've got a couple of options. We can also play the Monastery Swiss Spear out, attack with everything. Um, if they double block with Squee, I don't really mind. Double blocking Squee is definitely an option they can go for, but we get six damage. We get four damage through. Yep, yeah, it's what I expected. Again, we could have gone Monster Swiss Bill Lightning Strike, but I want to save that for the following turn. Let's play with fire. See what they want to do. Not really interested in playing this. Playing either Lightning Strike or play with fire. Lay down arms. Yeah, sure, no problem. That's my dog that I'm looking after, deciding that it wants to bark and bite and do all sorts of funny things. It's incredibly tempting to play the Thundering Raiju here, but instead, let's just go to combat and attack with everything. If I play with fire, it's nine, six, five, four, three, two. They'll go down to one. And then if they do populate, I'm going to keep that squee on top. And if they depopulate, I just have Thundering Raiju. Sunset Revelry will take them up to five. They'll make a couple of blockers. Yeah, there we go. Nice and simple. Off to a good start. Oh, it's good going first. We will keep this hand. There's always an argument as to whether you should start with Monstro Swiss Spear or Phoenix Chick. I am going to start with the Swiss Spear. There we go. Okay. Um, we will play out the Phoenix Chick here. I would also like to play with Fire my opponent, see what we can find. Uh, Mountain can go to the bottom. Down to 14. You can play with fire like in combat. It doesn't really matter. Armored Scrap Gorger. Excellent. There's another Phoenix Chick. We'll Lightning Strike this now. Slight concern here is that down to 10 and we have run out of gas slightly. We'll have to see what happens now. Fable. There's Squee. See if they want to block. Down to five. They might have to find Brotherhood's End or Shieldred or something like that. It depends entirely on what they find. There's a Traxxer. Um... I bet they wish they hadn't blocked with uh It could bring back Scrap Gorger, right? Yeah. 
Down to five. I can go down to one. Let's see. Yeah, let's let's play out Squee. We attack with everything. Okay, yep, sure. We'll put them on two. Not too bothered about Tyvar at the moment. They need another cut down. They need another removal spell. We've got plenty of ways of winning at this point. We can't use Squee just yet because there's only one other card in the graveyard. We need three more. Cruelty of Gix wins in the game. Uh, I'm not going to play beyond another Cruelty. Let's Strangle. Um, I'll just play this out. Everything attacks. Yeah, I know I know they had go for the throw. Okay. Opponents on one, they still need a removal spell for this Phoenix chick. We still have strangle. Cruelty of Gix would just be cruel. Not strangle, sorry. We we still have Phoenix chick. Okay. We just need a burn spell off the top to win. Sokinzan also does it, but we don't have... It's not looking good. At that point, they just gain a ton of life back. Um, oh, that's really unfortunate. Kamano would have done it. Yeah. Nothing we can do there. I'm not coming back. All right, opponent going first. We've got two monster with Swiss Spears, Strangle and Lightning Strike. Okay. Up to 21. Let's see how it goes. Turn two, if they play a creature, will be Strangle, uh, will be monster with Swiss Spears followed by Strangle. Okay. Um, Tell me you have go for the throat without telling me you've got go for the throat. Children's Edict. Same thing. Same thing in my book. Um, doo -doo -doo. We could see Graveyard Trespasser coming out. Wedding announcement, sure. Um, at this point, I just want to get some presents out. Like, I can't really worry about Depopulate at the moment because the deck is creature-based. If they have Depopulate, then that's unfortunate. Cool. Um, do... I could just Lightning Strike the token, but I don't think that's really worth it. I'm going to keep the Sokinzen in my hand for the time being. There's no reason to play it, um, unless, no, there, there's no reason why I play it. Cut down. Opponent's only got two cards in hand at this point. Uh, resolves. I'll pump out damage while I can. Down to seven, uh, end the turn. Restoration. And there's lethal. That's very lucky. Um, okay, soul partition, that's fine. I'll just play it now. If that final card's farewell, I'll be so annoyed. Just gonna combat again. Okay. Got him this time. 
We got slightly fortunate there, um, drawing that extra lightning strike. But sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Okay, going first, uh, I'm going to keep this hand. We've got Phoenix Chicken to Bloodthirsty Adversary. But before I begin, uh, we're on game four. If you could do me a huge favor and leave a like on the video, it really helps support the channel. And uh, let's the algorithm know that people want to see more content like this. Uh, almost got through the CTA without completely fumbling, but there we go. We'll keep this and we'll open with Phoenix Chick and then probably Felden. It depends on, it depends entirely on what I see from my opponent on turn one. Whee! Phoenix Chick going. Cut down, cut it down, cut it down, you know you want to. Duress, bye bye, lightning strike. Okay. Duress. I don't know if this is mono black, but I don't know many mono black decks that play duress. Let's go. Let's go face. Lightning strike can stay on top. Uh, I think that's lethal. We need to get in the habit of putting Thundering Raiju on the bottom if we don't have the four lands to cast it. And yep, there we go. Another win for Mono Red. Me go face. Okay, another day, another hand that I can keep. Whee! There we go. The, the thing about Mono Red is that it's really good on the... It, it's really good on the play. Not so good on the draw. I'm going to lightly strike here because it's a better use of my resources. I'd rather keep the two play with fire separate because they do have that scry one ability. Yeah, I do need to get rid of that Quirion Beast Caller. Um, I'm also going to... Yeah, I'm going to Lightning Strike here. Because I have Thundering Raiju in my hand and I have Play With Fire as well, I have no qualms with doing this. I'm going to look slightly silly if it is turn 3 Contaminated Bloater... Oh, what's it called? I've played it multiple times. Um, and it's the 4 forward Toxic one. Bloater Contaminator. Contaminated bloater. Looks like my opponent might be struggling, to which I say good. Gruel for the record is an awful matchup for Mono Red. I did a Gruel, well, Gruel Werewolves, but Gruel Aggro also works, simply because Gruel is just as fast and it can also get bigger than Mono Red. Um, you give up a tiny bit of explosiveness for a tiny bit more power. Hopefully my opponent isn't roping. There's blow to contaminator. Um, do I could strangle, put my opponent down to five. I think that's what I'm going to do. Need to keep monastery Swiss Bear around. Hello, no Elena here would be unfortunate. Buena Eyes of Gaia. Okay. Could really do with a fourth land at this point. Uh, I'm still going to attack. Buena will block and I get rid of this exuberant as well. I still think it's the right play. Uh, Tyrannix Rex is bad news. Defiler. Yeah. Uh, opponent should have tapped Gwenna there and they didn't. So, oh, sucks to suck. Could have two mana up opponent. There's Thundering Raiju. I'm on 17. I'm going to attack with everything. Put my opponent down to two. 
means that any burn spell off the top wins, although I've played Lightning Strike and Play With Fire. There's Halana and Elena. 11, 13. Rather sensibly. We will be very lucky if we win this. We will not win this. Um, yeah, I'm just going to play it out. But they'll block the Squee and they'll block the Monastery Swiss bit and we'll end up on one. Oh, it's so unfortunate. GG. Oh, that's the second time this game we have put our opponent down to one. It comes back to that blow to Contaminator. Is it worth using the Play With Fire to finish it off and not finishing it off with the Monastery Swift Spear? Well, no, because then... Yeah, no, that was that was correct. But yeah, Blow to Contaminator keeps Mono Red Aggro in check. Okay, looks like we have a slightly slower start than we used to. We'll keep this because we are on the play. If we draw a land, great. If we don't draw a land, it's also okay. Looks like our opponent is mulliganing. The only reason I kept this is because of the play with fire. Um, I'm going to keep it for the time being. We'll play out the bloodthirsty adversary here. Yeah, they have cut down. Cool. Luckily, turn three, we do have squee. They have cut down for this as well. I'll go for the throat, okay. Cool. We have backup squee. Which we will not play. What we'll do instead is that we'll play this Phoenix Chick and deal our first point of damage. Hooray! Shieldred? No Shieldred. Um, yeah, let's just get Squee out. Wow. Ain't it fun? Opponent just plays at this point uh, Frexian Obliterator and it's game over. Invoke Despair? Wow. Okay. Let's get Felden down. Opponent starts with one card. Um, it was a land. I will just play with fire directly at this point. Lightning strike, shockingly, to the bottom. Because on this occasion, I would like a land. Don't get it. Do get a third squee. Down to nine. Opponent must have lands. It's the only explanation. There's another go for the throat. Um, yeah, I'm going to play out the Thundering Raiju. I'm going to give Felden a plus one plus one counter. And we beat Mono Black Removal. And we'll hit Plat. <laughs> we did hit Plat in the end. Um, let's have a look what our opponent had. They only drew one creature, so... Our opponent might consider themselves unlucky. They did draw a lot of land. Mono red versus mono black is a very interesting matchup. Maybe we'll get a better recording later on. Opponent goes first. We've got Swiss bit and Chick, so I'm going to keep both of these. And we draw a land off the top. Um, yeah, we'll play the Chick first. The thing I'd rather they get rid of. Okay. Two lands. Well, after our, our mono black opponent got flooded, don't think we can really complain. Playing the strangle here so that everything survives. Sunset Revelry is a really good card. Like, a really good card. Shieldred. If in doubt, play another one. It's 
so yeah, we, we go after, the, we put it on the monster we Swiss Spear here. I don't mind Felden dying. If they triple block this Thundering Raiju, that's also okay. They're surely not going to let the Thundering Raiju through. I, I mean, I don't know what's in their hand, but like, there should be a triple block coming in here. Uh, we'll choose the squeak. But yeah, double Sunset Reverie and Thalia at the same time is very greedy opponent. Very greedy. Um, I could attack with both here. I could pay the ward, right? Yeah, let's attack with both. Um, if I kill the monster, if I Lightning Strike face 12, uh, 9, 8. Whereas if I just Lightning Strike the Denik so that they can't gain life next turn. It's 4 down to 11. Yeah, I think that's better. It's not great, but I mean, Squee wasn't going to do anything for me there. I'll back up Denik just in case. Oh, this is annoying. Our uh, opponent's got away with one here and they know it. Yeah. I don't think we're winning this. Um, opponent's out of cards, right? So again, I can just lightning strike the other Denik. Put them on eight. No more lifelink. No more lifelink. It's the, it's the only reason why I kept on going after the, the lightning strikes after Denik. Because even if I leave them alive, Rafine should be attacking with the Denik. 13, okay. Um, and the multiple connives means that my opponent will be gaining far too much life for my liking. Um... I mean, what's Squee going to do? Yeah. Good job, opponent. You got me. Going first. Um, Phoenix Chick. Strangle. But thirsty. Yeah, this all looks good to me. Looking good. Oh, could be something toxic. Uh, yeah, that's getting strangled. No way am I allowing that to uh, do that. Could really do with a third line drop here. We have Squee, we have Thundering Raiju, we have Felden, Bloodthirsty Adversary, but missing line drops, not ideal. Storm Chaser Drake, excelente. Everything goes through. We'll play Commander Face Kakazan here. Felden as well. What's got? Pwn's got Fading Hope, right? I don't like Fading Hope in Civic Toxic. I, I think it's actually a bad card in that deck. It doesn't do anything. Like that block screams, I've got another. That that block screams, I've got another Ivy. Security bypass. So my opponent will get to attack for two here. They'll get to draw a card as well. But they are on nine. Here comes a thundering Raiju. Gonna put it on the token because I don't want to put it on the Phoenix Chick. Um, because Phoenix Chick, well, let me let me explain that. It's a it's an interesting choice. The reason why I want, want to put it on the token is that I want the Ivy Gleeful Spell Thief to trade with the token and keep the Phoenix Chick around. Um, and then next turn, I can play the Squee. I can play Bloodthirsty Adversary. 
there's there's a couple of there's a couple of things we can do I, I, it's interesting let me know in the comments if you think put it, if it makes a difference why put the plus one plus one counter on personally i don't think so going first but this is an interesting one because we don't actually have it's a very reactive hand um i'm gonna mulligan this six isn't much better uh it is better not much better i'll keep it put a mountain to the bottom attack for one next turn we can either play with fire or felden we're playing with fire I don't want that monster Swiss spear getting out of control. Cool. Down to 14. Okay. There's Phoenix Chick. play this land my only hope is that my opponent is just as flooded out as i am but thundering raiju like is just a killer my my only hope uh, i'm not going to target felden surprisingly uh phoenix chick can stay on top down to three well, they got Thundering Raiju. They're only on three. Shivan Devastator. Okay. Think they're still dead? Yeah. Yeah, they were still dead. Turns out my opponent was just as screwed as I was. Wasn't expecting to win that one. But, um, them's the breaks, I guess. Opponent going first, three Kamanos and the Monster Swiss Spear. I think I'm going to keep this. They've taken a mulligan. The reason why I'm keeping this is that I can play the Kamano on one, and then on two, I can play Monster Swiss Spear into a second Kamano, or... I'm gonna do that uh, or strangle i wasn't gonna do double kamano i'll tell you that for free but now with that bloodthirsty adversary draw it makes my turn three even better the only unfortunate thing about this is that i had to do the second kamano pre-combat so that i could eke out an extra point of damage which leaves me open to lightning strike Um, but no risk, no reward. Uh, in comes a bloodthirsty adversary. Surely opponent's going to lightning strike something at some point. They must be big red because there's no other reason for them to not do anything. Yeah. Down to eight. Uh, they must have Brotherhood's End, Koth. I don't know if they're waiting for an invitation, but I can play down Mishra's Factory here, give myself a bit of reach, strangle, obliter like, there's so many things they can have, and it just feels like they might have just drawn really poorly. Which happens. It does happen. Playing Blast Bolt, and it gets removed. Uh, cool. Opponent goes to one. Burn down the house doesn't save them. Brotherhood's End doesn't save them. Skispy Battalion doesn't save them. I'm just going to crew up the Misha's Foundry. Just going to get used to playing everything I need to play. 
All right. All right. That's a good game to end the video on. My thoughts on Mono Red Aggro compared to Mono Red Burn is that the reason why Mono Red Aggro is positioned so well right now is because it does really well against Mono Red Burn. It does really well against Mono Red Burn. However, I think in the lower ranks with Mono Red Burn, you have access to Mechanized Warfare plus End the Festivities, which is just such a good combination right now. So, but in terms of this deck, I'm not a fan of the Strangles. I think you could take the Strangles out for something like Voldar and Epicure. I'm not a fan of so many Squeeze. I think that you can definitely replace those with something else. Thundering Raiju, I'm also not the biggest fan of. It's, we're only playing 22 lands. It's rare that we get to four mana. Um, you can take these out easily, go down to two Squee, you can take out the Strangles and replace them with Voldar and Epicures. Um, Voldar and Epicure will eventually show itself. And I think even at that point then, you can, yeah, two Voldar and Epicure, um, Mechanized Warfare for sure. Oh, if, can I spell Mechanized Warfare? I can't. Turns out I can't spell Mechanized Warfare. If you play Mechanized Warfare, you want End the Festivities, which I also can't spell. And then that's 62, so you have to take some other things out. I think you can take out a Mountain, you can take out a Voldar and Epicure, and you've got, you've got a better deck there. This is the version that, um, having played Mono Red Burn yesterday and Mono Red Aggro today, I think you could take this into your ranked ladder and do something cool with it. I really do. I really, really do. I don't know why Epicure's there. I think I thought that was play with fire. What a mistake. The only other card you could think about putting in is uh, Reckless Impulse. I think thinking about Reckless Impulse is something that you should do. Um, but we're not, this is sort of a burn aggro hybrid. If you're playing pure burn, then you're not playing these cards. You're playing more Epicures or playing more Reckless Impulses. But I think this version of Mono Red absolutely has potential. But that's it from me. If you want to see yesterday's Mono Red Burn deck that I played, just check out the video. Uh, can I point? There. It's there. Um, but that's all. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you on Monday. But in the meantime, take care of yourselves, stay safe, and don't do anything I wouldn't do. Bye-bye.